Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and welcome to part 4 of my video series on the Wii Shop channel. Uh, archiving it. Uh, the features of it. So what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna go to the Super Mario World listing. And this shows that it was released on August 13th, 1991. For one to two players, Nintendo Action. Um, so that's how you can play it. Okay, so under more details, oh, it says one to two players, rated E for everyone, during a vacation on Dinosaur Land. Dinosaur Land, not Dinosaur Island. Uh, Princess Toadstool gets kidnapped and a spell is cast on the inhabitants of the island as they stumble upon Yoshi. A young dinosaur, Mario and Luigi learn that Bowser is responsible for the terrible misdeeds. Now all Yoshis are trapped in magical eggs that Bowser has hidden in seven castles. Many secret exits aid Mario in making his way to Bowser's castle, completing 74 areas and finding all 96 e exits. Um, but you only technically have to do like three. Or something maybe maybe zero uh, yeah I think you only have to do I think you can get by with doing no exits by forcing Super Mario World to execute um, arbitrary code discover items including a feather that gives Mario a cape allowing him to fly or a flower that shoots fireballs and layers upon layers of 2d scrolling landscapes you can even ride Yoshi and swallow your enemies for any Mario fan this game is a must Super Mario World is a really good game. I highly recommend playing it with the classic controller over the uh, GameCube controller because with the GameCube controller, um, I don't think I'm going to be putting a video in here, but you kind of have to push Y. With the classic controller, you push Y to run and B to jump. With the GameCube controller, that's a bit of a hassle. So I'm going to go back. Um, so next is Nintendo Channel. I downloaded this. Um, released May 7th, 2008 for one player's Nintendo information. View compatible controllers. Oh! You can use the software with the Wii Remote or with a standard USB keyboard. That's cool. I assume the keyboard is for typing in videos to search for or something. So anyway, under more details, Nintendo Channel. An update is available that will make it easier for future users to download this channel. If you last updated this channel after September 14th, 2009, you will not see any changes if you update now. For more details, see support.nintendo.com. Actually, Nintendo Channel might be shut down now. I'll still download it. Hopefully it works. With the Nintendo Channel, you can learn about new services and products, as well as receive information about Nintendo and third-party publishers. Watch video clips, now available in high quality, from a variety of titles, both old and new. Uh, use an array of search, search options to find detailed information about almost any game you want and get recommendations for other titles you might enjoy based on surveys submitted by people like you. Thank you. Uh, use in conjunction with the internet channel. Oh, the Nintendo channel can direct you automatically to title-specific websites. That's pretty advanced. I'm pretty ahead of its time. Actually, maybe it wasn't super ahead of its time. It might just be that... Well, no, actually, it's not really that ahead of its time because programs can launch the browsers so yeah and apparently in the Wii the Nintendo Wii has a th thing that allows one title to launch another title I don't remember what that's called exactly I think it's called e-launch ticket service or something like that title specific websites and e-commerce sites from which you can purchase the title directly give us money. Um, additionally, the Nintendo Channel 
Can transmit Nintendo D Oh! Can transmit Nintendo DS software demos directly from your Wii to your Nintendo DS series system. So you can take a closer look at the titles that catch you, your eye. Wow, that's really cool. Wow. So like... Whoa. That's actually really cool. Um, so it's like... Um... The eShop demos, but a long time ago, like 10 years ago. It's really cool. Uh, by using the Nintendo Channel, you can easily discover Wii, WiiWare, Virtual Console, Nintendo DS, and Nintendo DSi titles, DSiWare titles that suit your tastes perfectly. Title Operations Guide. Oh. Hmm. I'll need to look at this later. Hmm. Hang on. Do other games have the thing down here? No, they don't. I'll have to go through that later. Here's the internet channel. Oh, you you can gift a web browser. Hmm. Well, I mean, that makes sense because originally you had to pay money for the web browser. Or, well, not money, but you had to use Wii Points, which you, which you buy with real money to get the web browser, but then Nintendo made it free and maybe they gave everyone who bought it uh, Wii Points, f free Wii Points, because they bought it? Don't remember for sure. Anyway, this was released on April 11th, 2007, for one to four players. Nintendo Internet Browser, the Internet Channel. This uses Opera. You can use the software with a Wii Remote or with a standard USB keyboard. An update is available that will make it easier for future users to download this channel. If you last updated this channel after September 1st, 2009, you will not see any changes if you update now. For more details, see support.nintendo.com. With the internet channel, you can browse the web with family and friends from the comfort of your living room. Nice, because I don't like going outside. Well, I mean, generally I use my computer in my office, or nowadays I can just take a tablet out to the living room, which you couldn't do back in around 2009 or so. You couldn't do it easily. Unless maybe you had a laptop connected to your... Well, I mean, you, they had tablets back then, Windows tablets, but they weren't as good as surfaces now. Um, use the Wii Remote to quickly and easily navigate websites. Check your web-based email. That's redundant. Or shop online. You can even zoom in and out to make any page easy to read. You can go directly to websites by entering a web address, something you can't do on the Nintendo Switch browser yet. Or use the search function to find whatever you're looking for on the internet. Mark websites as favorites for fast and easy browsing. New in the internet channel is support for Adobe Flash Lite 3.1. So now you can watch even more videos than before. Some Flash content may not be supported, uh, such as uh, games that use Adobe Flash. Download the internet channel and start surfing today! Oh, there's no um, usage guide. I'll have to go through the usage guide on the Nintendo channel at some other time. Maybe in another video. So, um, Super Mario 64. I can gift it for 1,000 Wii points, but I'm not going to do that because I just... Yeah. On a bright 
Um, oh, okay. In uh, Super Mario World and uh, other virtual console games on the NES and Super NES, you can push the home button and then go to, um, you can basically save it. Have a save state and then resume from where you left off. But Nintendo 64 games don't have that option. So that's kind of one way they differ. On a bright sunny day in the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario goes to visit the princess but finds her castle eerily empty. Da -da -da -da. Leaping through pictures hanging from the walls, he enters 15 magical worlds in a quest to collect the 120 power stars pilfered by evil Bowser and save the day. Uh, the game's vast worlds teem with daunting obstacle courses, hidden items, puzzles, more than 30 types of enemies, and tricky triangles. Seriously, that was a... I had a really hard time with that one back in 6th grade, but I finally got it once. I even wrote a poem on uh, the tricky triangles star that it was really hard to get, but then eventually I got it. Or no, I didn't write a poem on it, I wrote it in, in the My Access writing lab thing. I don't remember what that was called. Uh, take advantage of Mario's large selection of moves, including running, jumping, swimming, stomping, and punching, and even performing a backward somersault. Haha! -ha! Um, special caps give him short-lived powers, including the ability to fly and be heavy in the water so that he doesn't, so that he can walk on the bottom of the ocean and not get hurt by enemies and also be invisible. Uh, Super Mario 64 features unmatched camera control that makes adventuring in its 3D world a snap, even for newcomers, except when the camera refuses to go one way or the other. So this was released on September 29th, 1996, for one player's Nintendo action. Um, okay, I might have to cut this part out. So that's what a receipt looked like, but I need to like cover up most of that. Okay, so Magnetica Twist. June 30th, 2008. For one to four players, Nintendo Puzzle. Only with a Wii Remote. More details. Oh, it's actually its own game. Huh. I didn't know that. I'm not gonna be reading this because there's a lot to it. fancy interface. Um, for the, for the operations guide. Super Mario Bros. So under view compatible controllers, it shows what you can play with. More details. One day, the Mushroom Kingdom was invaded by the Koopas, a tribe of, oh, a tribe of turtles famous for their black magic. The quiet, peace-loving mushroom people were turned into stones, bricks, and even plants, and the kingdom fell into ruin. The only one who can undo the magic spell on the mushroom people and return them to their regular selves is Princess Toadstool. The daughter of the Mushroom King. Who is the Mushroom King, anyway? Nintendo ha doesn't really talk about... Doesn't really talk about him often. Like, he's not really a thing, it seems. Well, at least the Mushroom King is plant... No. At least the Mushroom King is... Um, based off of, um, 
a less dangerous um, part of nature. Uh, well, named after a less dangerous part of nature. Uh, unfortunately, she is in the hands of evil King Bowser. Mario, the famous plumber, learns of the mushroom people's plight and, sent, and sets out to free the mushroom princess from the Koopas and restore the fallen kingdom of the mushroom people. Jump, kick shells, and throw fireballs through eight action-packed worlds in this iconic NES classic. This was released on October 18th, 1985 for one to two players, Nintendo Arcade. Don't know why I said that. Should be action though, because it's action series. Netflix. Oh, I still have Netflix installed. Yeah, I guess I do. View compatible controllers. Okay. Released October. Oh, wow. October 18th that year. Just like Super Mario Bros. was released. Oh, I already opened this. Super Mario Bros. was released in 1985. Okay, Amazon Instant Video. Did I already look at this? Wow, 114, 2013. That was after the Wii U launched. Hmm. Um, okay. Mario Kart 64. Uh, he doesn't say 64, he just says, Welcome to Mario Kart. Uh, February 10th, 1997. For one to four players, Nintendo Racing. Rated E for everyone. Use of, an, use of a classic controller or classic controller pro sold separately is recommended for playing this game. This game cannot be played using the Wii Remote by itself. The original Mario Kart 64 allowed players to race against ghost data saved on the controller pack. However, Virtual Console cannot use the controller pack. I actually have a, a controller pack to save data. Maybe two? I don't know. I heard that if you use it, it kind of makes it go have issues. More details. Oh, I already opened this. Super Smash Bros. Uh, April of 1999. This was uh, five months before I was born. For one to four players, Nintendo Fighting. Did I already talk about this? Oh, the Virtual Console version of this game does not support the Rumble Pack feature that was available in the original N64 title. I think I already talked about this. Maybe not. Choose from an all-star cast of Nintendo characters in a frantic melee to prove who will be the ultimate brawler. Utilize the easy to learn but hard to master controls to battle it out in the single player mode. Earning point bonuses and unlocking hidden characters along the way. Um, or enter versus mode to take on up to three other players simultaneously. Inflict damage using each character's unique set of special moves or familiar items and power-ups. Eventually winning by knocking your opponents off the screen in one of the interactive stages, each with a Nintendo theme. Uh, need a moment to catch your breath? Polish, polish your skills in training mode, or destroy targets in bonus stages specific to each character. I missed that feature. Are you ready to test your metal against all? Are you ready to test your metal against all comers, including the powerful Master Hand? Okay. Mario Party 2. Released in January of 2000, right after, or in the same month as um, Y2K could have happened. 
if all the companies and people didn't work as hard as they did on it. Um, virtual console version of this game does not support the Rumble Pack feature that was available on the original M64 title. Whoops. Oh no. More details. Oh wait, I already read this. That's becoming a trend, isn't it? Um, I think I already looked at all these. Okay, well, um... I guess that's enough for now, but... No, I don't want to do that. Is this the, yeah, that's the guide, I think. Oh, the font up here kind of looks like, uh, s Open Sans. Or Sans or something like that. Maybe it's not Open Sans specifically, but just regular Sans. Regular Sans Serif. Um, um, it's a shopping guide. Oh! Classic games from past systems. I like how this pop-up shows up here. It doesn't show here. I don't know if the add money thing would have one. Classic games from past systems. Original Wii titles available only here. Channels to enhance your Wii experience. I feel like the Nintendo Wii is 60 FPS? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the Nintendo Wii is mostly 60 frames per second, but then recording it at 30 makes it a little bit choppy. So you can go up here and then go back to the home thing of the Wii Shop channel. And then, like, you can go through this. I think I already did this. I can, I'm probably making this harder for myself. So basically, if you were to go to a game that you don't have downloaded, here's what it would look like. Released February 1990 for 1-2 to two players, Nintendo Action. A few compatible controllers. More details. I don't know what I'm going to be downloading for my last purchase. So here's this information I'm not going to be... Reading it out loud, I'm almost done with this video. Sorry, that went kind of fast, but hopefully you can pause it, play, and pause it. Okay, I'm about done. Too bad I don't have like 2,000 Wii points. Or like 20,000 Wii points. Wait. Would that be $200? If I had 4,000 Wii points, that would probably be okay. But that's okay. I didn't... I was kind of not really thinking when they shut down the ad Wii Points feature because I was in college and I wasn't thinking straight back then. But but I need to go to sleep now. And um, next time we're going to be going through Virtual Console. Goodbye for now. Did it, 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 did it,
Um, I guess I should be going now. <laughs> 